Um, and again, this is a, like people aren't used to me basically deferring on expertise, but I always defer on the practice side to you, right? Because you're just so freaking, you know, laser on it. Is patient satisfaction, right? For, for, from the early days of manga, like, you know, as far back as you can look. And one of the reasons for that is because, you know, the chiropractors are doing this right. They they have that goal agreement, which you're so, so, so really good at, right? And then they have the intervention agreement, right? Which is like, right? And then, and then they have that bond of trust. And, and it's it's really cool because it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to tie in exactly with our patient education day. But I, I think one of the things that's so important is that is that when you know from the day you meet that person all the way through it's an educational process that's continuous yeah it's not there and, and so you've got to be you've got to i think to do it properly you've got to be thinking about you know what do i need to know what does my staff need to know and believe with certainty and what does a patient need to know and believe and trust in order to comply with my recommendations. And if you can answer those three questions and then address them like we will, then what happens is is just that 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 tide of certainty and knowledge and trustworthiness rises every boat, man. Yeah. The staff enjoys it more, the doctor enjoys it more, makes more money. Most importantly, the patient gets better results and enjoys coming more and is more likely to comply. So it's it's kind of interesting where where other professions in the literature is just kind of coming around to where we've always been. Chiropractic's right again, right? Right. You need that goal agreement, that intervention agreement. It's like, and the other thing, Brad, that, that, that I, that, you know, I know is that I always say to people, it's not just that we're right again, it's that they're wrong again. Right. Right. So these people somehow feel like, oh, I don't know, man, like, you know, they, they don't seem to have that confidence to say, listen, if you don't listen to me, if you don't follow the evidence-based chiropractic and lifestyle protocols, you have no chance. Right. And I, and I just think, like that's that level of knowledge and certainty is not only just knowing how what we the evidence for what we do, but just understanding how tragic, you know, and and just how, like this devoid of evidence and 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 this sort of plethora of fraudulent claims. Like people talk about false claims in chiropractic. Are you kidding me, dude? The false claims in medicine are so outrageous, and so. I just think, you know, when you put all that together into a package, it just makes you, 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 you don't not only have certainty, but you have this sense of urgency that if they don't stick with me, they're doomed. Yeah. And that's true. It's so true. I love that you came out of the gates firing today. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? And good afternoon. <laughs> I didn't ease into that. My apology. Oh, no, I was good. It straightforward. So just if they thought they were going to get a little warm up after you did, <laughs> not that uh, right for the jugular. Here's the thing is, if we're not right in what we're doing, then we will be changing and twisting and, and, you know, looking for other solutions on a consistent basis. And the truth is it has been right all along. And just what you said, I think is key is doctor or patient education starts with doctor education, right? Yeah. You got to know it to teach it. So let's get firm on that. And then confidence equals competence in the mind of the patient. For sure. Man. So even how you share it and what you say and being definitive in your words, that matters. You know, your tone of voice and your posture as you say this stuff, like we can get into the nitty gritty, but it's no small thing. Your confidence as you deliver this information has to be there. And then what that looks like to the patient is competence. And it's not false <laughs> competence. It's in alignment with the research. Um, and again, this is a, like people aren't used to me basically deferring on expertise, but I always defer on the practice side to you, right? Because you're just so freaking, you know, laser on it. I think one of the biggest highlights for me teaching was when I had you as a student one time. <laughs> that was awesome, dude. I, I remember sat through that. In fact, I've sat through it because what I, what I do at your, your, when I come and guest speak at your seminars, now I just came and I just came as a student pure. I wasn't speaking. Uh, maybe Which I was super speak, cool. I mean, you, right? we, we, yeah, I could, results, right. And it was awesome. And, you know, I was there with my buddy, uh, Dr. Saab. And then, you know, I know Rick who, who works with me. He's, he's taken your seminar years ago in Seattle, man, years ago. And, and yep. it came back all pumped on it. And so, um, yeah. It, and, but, but the other thing I always do, which is rare for me is that if I'm coming in and I'm speaking at your seminar, whether it was in Florida, whether it was in, in Vegas, is that I actually sit through, like I, I normally don't, but yeah. I, I like, I like to sit in there because for me, you know, I'll be a little bit honest, right. I was vetting. I was like, is this guy saying any stuff that I don't want to get behind? Because I knew I did your two days. That was purely because I was interested in it. But I, I'm always like, I'm picky. You know me, man. And totally. I'm like, is there anything here? And then, you know, 
if there's something that I'm not sure about, I come and ask you. And then that was the beauty of it. Your response was always do whatever the evidence says. That's what we're doing. I can take anything and make it systematized and palatable. And like if the content's the content, that's it. And so, uh, yeah, so that was really not only just educational for me, but it also, it also was comforting Hmm. because, um, you're the first person I've ever chosen to do this with in 25 years. And it was because, because I sat through it and I saw the integrity in it. And I also saw the integrity in you, um, in terms of saying, well, you know, if there's something that can be tweaked, I'll tweak it. Like there was like, there's zero argument. Right. And it's right. like, and, and, and I'm the same way with your, you, I'm like, Brad, if you think it's a better way to say that, I get it, man. I defer. And no matter where you are, what's really neat about this and the way Brad and I have started to sort of mesh a little bit is that Brad's genius is taking all the science and the research that I put together and putting it into a deliverable, easy to understand, easy to deliver format so that patients will actually, you know, stick around and follow the recommendations and get the care they need so that they have a better life, that they're avoiding the opioids, they're avoiding the injections, you know, they're avoiding the surgeries.